What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Happy Wednesday evening. Hopefully, you had some sales today. I had four. I'll go over those with you guys. Uh, and an interesting thing happened. And I didn't know if I told you guys, I sent off my shipment uh, to Declutter. Uh, so a little uh, trip down memory lane. Declutter, I took all my liquidation the ones that worked and weren't, weren't cracked. I sent it into Declutter. It was free shipping using U, uh, UPS back. And then they're going to validate the shipment and deposit the money into my PayPal account. I will keep you posted. So let's uh, see who's here. Catherine, how are you doing? Scott, Joni, Adam, how's it going? Josh, Josh Noob, good, good to see you again. Deborah, the crazy card. Mike, how's it going? Michelle, Four Oaks, Shane, Mike, Margo. Hopefully you're doing okay. Thanks for coming. Donna, Tony M. But I did list my first five items on Amazon. Nice. So uh, picked up one thing today. I'm gonna put on Amazon. I'll show you what I bought. I bought a uh, couple things today. So I'll show you what I bought. Tony, what's going on? Russ the Raccoon. If you haven't followed him, give him a follow. He's on Facebook, has a ton of cool videos, as well as YouTube. So check him out. Pac-Man, Charlotte, what's going on? All right, so first deal of business today and kind of uh, the bigger one is I got a message. A message came through Facebook, and I'm going to let you guys read it. Actually, I'll read it. i read it along with you guys. Let me share my screen. And I will change the name to protect the guilty. But, all right, and let me, uh, hold on, let me make sure. Does it look all right? It looks like video is okay, maybe? All right. So let me switch my screen. And you guys can read what I received today. I almost fell out of my chair at work. All right, so here's what they said. My vi my Viofo, whatever that is, how you say it, it's a GPS. Uh, dash cam pretty much firmware 2.2 he puts the whole the whole thing in there that I ordered on December 13th he must have went in the future and order it because he ordered it in December 13th 2018 I'm assuming he meant 2017 said it stopped working three weeks ago but yet you reach out to me now three weeks after it stopped working and says it's not working. I therefore would like to return the camera for a replacement. Uh, it looks like he wrote that twice. As you can see from the picture below, it is about two-thirds of the screen working. Please send replacement as soon as possible. Sorry, you see his name there, bud. Yeah, he wants a replacement after six months. Now, I didn't va validate the date, but... Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Now, I think this is probably the record of the longest time someone's asked for return after never trust people from the future. Uh, the longest time that someone's wanted to return. So, uh, yeah. So, my plan of attack here. Keep you posted uh, as it goes along. But here's what I'm going to do. And respond thanks for <laughs> that's laughable i know right december it's almost the end of may um so i am going to respond in a nice way and say i'm sorry but you have uh outgrown your return window so i unfortunately cannot do anything at this time and i'll see what happens now if it were within a reasonable time period if it was within the 30 days, I would just take the return and uh, move on and get along with it. But six months after the fact, probably used it, right? Yeah, this ain't Walmart. Uh, if you could only send him a gift and send him to one of the old ladies that say, that's not how this works. Not how any of this works. Um, so the fear is, right, if it were closer to when he received it, he could do a PayPal chargeback. Now, I'm going to refuse it on eBay. Now, if he leaves negative feedback on eBay, I don't think he's left me feedback yet. I will call eBay and get that removed just because we, he basically 
lit himself on fire in that message, admitted to using it. It's broken. It's been six months. Shane Scott says, don't respond. True, I just could ignore it. That's the other way I can go about it. Uh, so if I did ignore it, then he could leave me negative. I'll get it removed from eBay. Just call him up. He doesn't have ground to stand on. I would ignore him and block him. Good idea. So Shane and Tony looks like, uh, <laughs> looks like uh, just to say to move on. Dear customer, alas, alas, the time has passed. So... Uh, the fear is, right, they're going to go to PayPal and they're going to open a chargeback claim, potentially. Now, not every seller, I think, knows how to do that, but that is the option what can happen. I've had someone do that, but uh, I've heard of you call you being able to call PayPal and show them proof of eBay closing in your favor if that were to get that way. But um, I think it sounds like I should just ignore and move on. Pagman says, sorry, the return period is 30 days. You have 30 days to test all functions. And unfortunately, I can't do anything. However, you may try. Oh, there you go. However, you may try to contact the manufacturer may be able to replace it. That's great. So we're, we have a couple options here. I'll definitely keep you posted what, I, what I'll do. Um, but do you use promoted listings on eBay? Uh, I have done it once. I've only had two things sell from it. I do better without promoted. Uh, so I, I tend to shy away from promoted listings. Goody, I saw you, you said earlier about ASD stuff. Uh, I, I've been selling my controllers. I sold a ton probably a month ago, and now it's kind of dried up. I think I still have maybe 20 left of the 50 that I bought. Uh, so those have been kind of moving. Um, Adam, no, that was eBay. Oh, the other thing with ASD, the toy manufacturer finally said they have my product, so I have to send them my information. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I need to send them so I can get all my toys. I've not gotten them yet. You better check PayPal. I think he, I think he can go through that way. Yeah, Forex, he can potentially go through PayPal, but I was reading online that it said, uh, I believe you have 120 days for a chargeback claim, and I'm not sure if that is the case. But yes, Pac-Man, I like that wording. Uh, Russ, Tony says, Russ is raccoon, if you don't block him after your message, he may, can, will buy something from you to force the return of an item. True. You need to block him ASAP on all your eBay stores. That is a good, a good point. So if I don't block him, he'll go buy something in my store and then uh, charge back claim or force the return on the item that he's bought. Good idea. Uh, someone bought something this evening, wants the address changed. They're both Illinois addresses. Now, I've heard now that, that eBay will back you up if you have it in a message to change an address, but uh, I have not done that. I've always had them cancel and repurchase it under the correct address. The last person that sent me an email or a message in eBay saying change the address, it completely flagged their account and blocked the transaction. Sure, yep. Good idea. Scott's listed an item for $1,200. Awesome. Promoted listings is a joke, says Tony, but you should put your listings at 1% promoted listings. Uh, yeah, I've not had luck with that. 180 days on PayPal. Yeah, so they're, I mean, December 18th to what is it? May 23rd. Yeah, they're way over, right? My math's right. Definitely tried to avoid the BS and you need to factor in your time. That is true. So a lot of times, guys, with the returns, I'll take the returns. Uh, if they're within the time frame, I usually don't fight returns. I move on, sell it, make some money. It's not worth the, the time and the effort to fight. Just like uh, HRH Consultant says, just either deal with it, move on, depending on the action. But usually I don't fight returns. Not all buyers know how the system works. That's true. And a lot of times we say, oh, eBay is changing stuff up. You know, I don't know what they're going to do in terms of returns. A lot of times we know a lot more about the system, the process than everyone else does. Uh, yes, because I read if your item is a very specific item, then your customer will find it anyway. Yep, that's true. So I'll keep you posted as uh, I deal with that buyer. Most likely I'm just going to block him, move on. Uh, and I have all, I have the message. So that is, just to let you guys know, that is the first one and the oldest one I've ever received is six months. 
I've heard horror stories of that, but I was finally got hit with it. I just don't want to account for promoted listings on top of all fees. Uh, goody goods. I, I only use promoted listings on items that have been sitting around for a long time. They are not for items that I've just bought. Uh, that's the way I used it. Um, cause I want to get them out. I want to get them sold. So I was trying to get more, uh, higher search rankings. 1% promoted listings helps analytics and make sure your item is visible. Good point. Some items are hidden, don't show up, et cetera. But if you promote it, it's always visible. Not saying promoted listings is good. That's a great point too. 1%, I mean, just to make sure your stuff shows up. And again, I would probably only use it for very old things that have been sitting there. Uh, so that's a great point, Tony. It's an item that tests the thickness of paint comes with a probe paid $11 from a liquidation lot that Chris doesn't do anymore. I was thinking about that today. I just got super busy. You can also auction items. I don't like auctioning. I used to love auctions on eBay just because people that could not pay for it. I have to wait seven days for it to sell. A lot of times with my buy it now, stuff sells pretty fast. That's the only reason why I hate auctions. <clears throat> Way to rub it in, Scott. Pac-Man does 2% on everything. So maybe I'll take some of my older stuff. If you guys had things on eBay that are older than 16 months, it will show in your selling category. It'll say this listing is over 16 months. You might want to consider revising it. So for those, I might throw those on promoted as well. Can't wait to... Uh, oh. Nisha mom's in. I've learned some good tips this past weekend and walking through the thrift stores. Can't wait to try it on my thrifts here. Nice. Yeah, auctions are terrible. I don't like how they can't force them to pay for it. They can force them to pay for it and buy it now. They should force immediate payment on an auction. <laughs> Keep all your copies of customers, dealings with customers. Yeah. Screenshots, good, good idea. I keep everything in my messages. Charlotte just had a sale. Awesome. Did you read all the seller update? No, I have not yet. Uh, I probably should. After a long deliberation with my financial partner named Fido, the return request is denied. <clears throat> I like that. That's an even better one. But Michelle was funny when it said, never trust someone from the future. All right, so I'll keep you posted on that. Let me show what I bought. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a couple things that I posted, but... I paid up for this. I liked it because it had the remote. I have not tested it. Does not have a power cord, but I have one. I have a bunch. Uh, it comes with one of those ones you plug in right there. You can see it is a Sony. If you want to look up the model number, it's right there. BDP-S550. Uh, I believe on Amazon it was about $95. It is a Blu-ray player. I did pay up for it. I say pay up. Uh, it was $20. Bucks. I liked it a lot because it had the remote. So a lot of times I might be able to make the money on the remote alone. But uh, with the remote on Amazon, it should sell pretty fast. I will always put a description in my electronics. Includes or does not include remotes. So definitely paid up for that. I will test it to make sure it works. But uh, I like now that they've been taping the remotes to them. And I won't give that a shot, but I paid 20 bucks for that. So that was the largest. Now, if it was only a $50 profit minus the 20, I probably wouldn't have touched it. But since it was close to $100, oh, Fenway, not Fido. Yeah, that's true. Um, since it was $100, $20 uh, turn, uh, Tony, I paid 20 for it, $19.99. So I figured, well, why not, right? That would, I spent $59 total. So that alone will more than double the profit of my trip. Well, close to double, but so I said, why not? Those 20 here too. A lot of the Blu-rays are the ones that I found. I showed you last night. Uh, they're usually $11.99, $12.99, $11, uh, $10, $8, $9, $10, $11, $12, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99, $12.99
What time frame do you consider long term for where an item you have listed before discounting? Um, maybe a month or two, at least personally. Now it also depends too on I have every item I purchase in a specific lots of what I paid. If that lot is profitable and I've already made my money back or made more than I purchased everything for, let's say I had five items in the lot and I sold two and I've already made, you know, $50 profit on those items. I want to unload those other three and get them out the door. So I've already know I made my money. I will uh, go back, discount them and get them sold. Now, if it's, I will hold out if it's a nice item. That is kind of the, some of the constraints that I will do to not lower it. If it's real nice, if I think I could sell it for what it's worth. Um, but if it's profitable nine times out of 10, I'll get rid of it. One month, two months tops. Yep. I drop price 10% every month on all items. I'll also go put in best offer if I don't have it on there. So games, look for games. Uh, a lot of these have sold between 7 and $8. Uh, this one I've sold some sold listings for $13.99. It is for the Wii. Again, guys, if you're buying games, make sure you list them complete. Insert the UPC number in the listing because you get the category search on it. And complete means it has the case, uh, booklet, and CD. I do have a Wii, so I might test them if it looks like it's kind of funky. But this one looks okay. So that's the only way I test them. So some of the the... Uh, basic games like Sega or some of these uh, games that are specific to certain consoles, look at the price of those. But uh, I pay $2.99 for all my games, kind of up a little bit. Do you use best offer? I do. If I'm looking to price an item really high, I will best offer it. So, for example, that Dale uh, Dale Jr., Dale Earnhardt Jr. code I got, I put 300 bucks on it. I only paid 8 So I put best offer on it because if someone offered me $150, i am probably going to take it. So best offer, or if it's sitting there for a long time, I'll put best offer on it. Tony looks like he does every item. If I'm holding out on a polo shirt for 24, 20 bucks, I'll leave best offer off. But normally if I want a higher priced item and I want to try and get more, I will, that's where I'll put best offer on. Uh, Four Oaks, I always check the game discs. Some are really scratched up. Yes. So I think that's where I'm going to invest in F, uh, FJF. Is that what it's called? Disc cleaner. I have a couple games over there that are scratched I need to clean up. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. If you find this, buy these. Uh, this one sells, I think, $11 to $13. Again, this one's complete. And then they, the booklet's actually still sealed. The next two I picked up, look for PlayStation 3. Uh, again, avoid the sports games if you can in some, in some cases. I picked these up. So this Godfather one. This sells for about 25 when I did my quick searches in the solds. Uh, 20 to 25, you can pick that one up. Need for Speed. Need for Speed's a good series. They tend to hold their value in most cases. Double check. This, I think, was between 15 and 18. Double check me. But again, both complete, both $2.99. Get them up. Chris, do you have a minimum profit amount you want to make on each item you buy? I usually want to make at least $5. Yeah, $5 is kind of give or take. If I buy like a game for $3 and it only sells for $10, i am probably going to leave it unless it's a fast-moving item. If it's something that's going to sit there for a while, then I probably won't pick it up. I try to weigh my time versus profit, uh, and that's where my $5 comes in. If it's going to sell fast and it's a five, four, five dollar flip, I'll do it. But if it's if a long tail item, I'm not going to touch it. I've seen some games with chipped edges. Four Oaks, that's true. Uh, look for chips on the edges. Check the back for scratches. Also, and these have snuck my, me, by me uh, as I've been purchasing. Check the, in, uh, the circular inside of them. Sometimes they crack right there. So uh, just look at those to make sure there's no chips as well on the inside as well as on the outside. That's a great point. If I can make $2 and it doesn't take much time to list, then I'm good. Yeah, so you got to weigh your time with the profit. Definitely. All right, last couple things I got was clothing. Again, I like the logo, so I had to go for it. And I like Under Armour. Under Armour does really well for me. Picked up an Under Armour shirt. This is a, sorry, I took it, Mayfair Village. No idea what that is. But Under Armour, I like. 
just plain red. I'm sure someone will take a plain red. I tend to list all my polos at 20 bucks, 1999. I found a Peter Millar polo shirt. So there's just plain black polo shirt, Peter Millar. What would you guys list this at? There you go. Peter Millar is medium, but it has, I have no idea what that is. Another logo, I have no idea. But Peter Millar, it looks like no one's ever worn it. Depends, make $2. I'm trying to leave out lower profit stuff. Yeah, that's hard. I try to, I'm like, man, I could sell this in a day or two. So I still buy it anyway. Some ding dong just hit me with four messages after he, oh, I hate that. Committed to buy, like he didn't even see the photos or description, not feeling real good. Someone asked me a question tonight after I shipped their item out this morning. I'm like, come on. You should have asked me before you purchased it. It was a buy it now. I love finding DS games. They're always good in condition. That's if they're still in there. A lot of the DS games in my goodwill, uh, they're picked out. So they take them. Uh, pick this up. This is a chance. I have a polo shirt of this. It's a car brand, the mini car brand. It is a t-shirt. It's mini or mini. It's large. Um, give it a shot. It does have the logo on the bottom. It's metal, metal logo on the bottom. Well, as I think it had it on the arm. No, but it does not look like it's worn. So I'll give that a shot. Are you going to buy clothing now that we are heading into summer? Clothing sales were brutal for me during the previous summers. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I'm not going to either change or ramp up or ramp down. I mainly stick to polos unless I find a name brand sweater or a button up. This I'm going to sell locally. It's a local high school, but it is Under Armour. Again, I paid $3.99 for all my polos. Uh, it's under, under Armour. I will list this on Facebook Marketplace. I'm assuming someone will buy it. I'll do. I'll probably do $10, $15 just because there's someone around the neighborhood that will probably want it. Uh, now that the NBA playoffs are going on, these shirts are pretty mint condition. Looks like they've never been worn. Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, give them a shot. I'm not. I don't really have good luck with bas with uh, basketball shirts, let alone T-shirts like this. I like them, so I've kind of gravitated to just buying them. Key basketball. There you go. So that's the clothing I got today. That's what I purchased. I will show you what I sold from last night. Uh, Rusty Raccoon, I am, I kind of started to get back into Poshmark. I only have, I think, eight things up there, uh, but I've never sold anything on it. I've been using eBay extensively, or Mercari, I've been ramping that up. I've been doing a listing a day, and then uh, Poshmark, I'm kind of dabbling in, but it's far from being extensive for me. Facebook is a good way to sell the Under Armour shirt. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a bunch of... Uh, uh, that school, like Nike Dry Fit there. If I have luck with this, selling the local high school high school stuff local, then yeah, Tony, I will probably go back and buy some more of it. And hopefully. Yeah, I live in a condo, so space is tough, especially now with 800 listed. Yeah, hopefully you have it all organized now. Yeah, I, that's why I agree. Facebook's a better demographic or a better place to sell local stuff. All right, so I sold a bike seat today. That's what I bought. Oh, last thing I bought. I bought a Belkin. I haven't tested this yet. It's a Belkin um, track, not trackpad, number pad for the computer. It kind of mimics an Apple version of it. I got it for a dollar. So I said, why not? I'll list it. I'll probably use it till I, till I sell it. But I didn't even look up comps. I just threw it in there for a dollar. Were you able to relist those controllers on eBay? No, I have not. I have not tried to test them after they removed them. Because I had the word Sony. I thought you could say combat compatible with. And they didn't like that. So um, I have not tried it. I don't want to get suspended. Maybe I will down the road. But uh, we'll see. Sold this. I showed you this. I bought this for a dollar. Yes, Was it yesterday? Uh, sold it for $8.99. Justin, does it have a, a receiver? No, it does not. I believe this is Bluetooth. Yeah, I think it's just Bluetooth. I'll pair it with the computer. I'm like number 12. Don't do it. Don't do what? Oh, yeah, don't relist it. I'm not going to relist it. Yeah, I don't think I am. What's number 12, Tony? 
All right, I finally sold this. Don't give up on the no-name polos. No-name polos do well. I won't show you what it is, but you can see it's extreme performance. Never heard of it. But you guys know I like logos. It's a it's a generic red shirt that says ESPN. Sold that for 20 bucks. Someone came, swooped in. Got themselves a nice red night. Uh, oh, I got you. Like button. Thanks, Tony. I've been watching your videos too. I've been hitting like. I like your uh, your auctions and your haul videos. Keep it coming. Last thing, this is one I've had forever. This is probably one of the first polo shirts I've ever purchased thrifting when I started back in December when I was doing liquidation and this. But it's a Travis Math or golf shirt, generic blue with the pocket. Uh, sat for a long time. I probably would not buy this brand. I only bought it because it had. The President's Cup logo on the arm. This was a $20 sale. So, but I sat on this forever. Be wary of this brand. I've not had uh, much with it, much luck with it. But those are the sales I had for today. Not bad. I'll take uh, $70 before shipping. I'm going to get the rest of this stuff listed. Test that DVD player. Last thing. Yeah, it sold. Um, last thing to tell you guys, I showed you my DVD players that didn't work last night. I went on Amazon. And I purchased a uh, CD cleaner. So I'm going to get that. I think it comes Saturday. So I'll let you know how that works out. I'm going to try to fix those players, get those listed. Otherwise, I'm listing for parts. But I invested in that and micro cassettes to get my uh, test my mini cassettes and get those up. So that's these right here. I have not listed these yet. I flipped these for a good 45, 50 bucks. They're Sony's. I just want to make sure they work just because I think you're supposed to have a cassette for them to turn. Both of these react the same way. Uh, other ones I've bought and sold, they do spin without the cassette. So I just wanted to make sure and bought some micro cassettes. Almost looks like a McDonald's logo. Try a different CD. I did, big guy. I tried uh, multiple DVDs and Blu-rays in the Blu-ray player, and it wouldn't read. But it did read the VC VHS side, so that's good. But all right, guys, that's all I had tonight. Hopefully, you guys get some more uh, sales tonight. Keep listing. Keep sourcing. Keep uh, keep learning new products. Get it moving. I'm gonna sell my little my little figure in here soon enough. She's she's sitting here. But have a great night. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Yeah, Cleveland Browns. It's the best. They're gonna make the playoffs this year.